Let's give Steve a huge hand. Uh, you guys with your branding here, we're going to talk about branding a lot today. Uh, with your branding and marketing, just by a show of hands, how many of you feel like you're guessing when it comes to your marketing? Okay, thanks for the honest ones and then some of us, <laughs> right? Uh, I find that a lot of people when I'm talking to them, they really do. They feel like they're guessing. They feel like they're putting money in a slot machine when it comes to their marketing and advertising and they're putting the coin in and they're pulling back on the hammer and they're hoping that the, the next thing we've got to look at is your perfect client. And what I, you know, we, we, we brush over this so much as business owners. We're like, yeah, I want my perfect client, but I call them wow clients. How many of you really think, like how many of you had a wow client? What I mean by it is where you actually, like it's so awesome, you leave and you're pumped. You get in the car, that was so awesome, right? You're so pumped. And then you have the, the client so excited, the passion was just exuding out of both of you because it was an amazing moment. Has anybody ever had one of those? Awesome. So then, those of us that have had those moments, how many of us then go from a wow moment to like an uh? Or another uh, or the one that you're like, oh man, guy's calling me, right? And the worst one is when you wake up in the morning and you know you got that meeting and you're the whole day's ruined. You're like, damn, I gotta meet with that guy at one o'clock. <sighs> oh, it ruins everything. It ruins your business. And I know why you're doing it. I did it too. Remember I set up on stage that when I started, I had to go get money. I would take any project, right? That also is not good. As I got wiser, I realized I need to turn down the work that I don't want to do. I need to turn away the people that don't fit with me. And I want wow clients. Could you imagine your day if it was wow, 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 wow. Right? Wouldn't you be like waking up? Woo, let's go. Come on, I'm going to meet with you and you. And it's awesome. And I got all the people that I want, right? That's what we, that's what we want. So how do we find wow clients? And we're here with John Asraf at his home here in San Diego, California. Absolute joy. And you guys are champions. Uh, I love uh, playing with you and creating a big difference in the world with you guys. Thank so. you. Thank you. Well, and I guess case in point, where we are right now, right? You yeah. put this house on your vision board thinking it was like a big house that you know is bigger than where you were at that point and here we are and right now it, it was my dream you figured it out that's awesome it was my dream let's say i'm doing a strategy session with a business that wants me to look at them i'll say okay we're going to sit down here and we're going to look at where you are and where you want to go and i'm going to help you wherever i can to bridge the gap speed things up whatever i can do but then before we start i'll say to them i'll say listen what will it take for you to leave this meeting at the end and walk away and say, oh my gosh, this meeting was more than I thought I was going to get. This is so big. What would have to happen in this meeting right now for you to feel that way when you leave? And guess what happens? They tell me. They tell me what they want, what's most important. Can you imagine if I didn't do that? And then I'm like, hey, you know, a lot of people survey at the end, which is good. You want to serve at the end. But what if I served at the end? And I'm like, hey, what could have been, uh, what could have been better? What could I have improved? And they said, well, you, uh, we could have worked on this. We could have worked on But what if I found out right at the beginning? Right? And you might be there at the end with this customer doing an exit survey. Like you finish something and you exit. That's awesome to do that. It's like a double check. But I don't want you to neglect the intro. Everyone, this is, most people survey when it's over. It's too late. And even you might say, okay, I learned a lesson. I use that for next customer. And that's great. And a lot of times that does help. But guess what? That customer is different than this customer. That customer might want something different than this customer. So if I just assume that Joe just helped, that just told me that I could have done something differently, and then I go over to Becky and I do the same thing, and Becky doesn't care about what Joe cared about. And then I miss what Becky needed. Because I didn't ask. This right here, you might think survey, oh, whoop de doo But it, if I had to pick one thing that changed my whole career in marketing, was this. I'm talking millions of dollars in revenue, billion dollars, I've even worked with billion dollar companies, they didn't even know exactly what their clients want. And once we asked, we changed their whole game. 
I've had small businesses failing, and then they ask their customers what they want, and then they thrive. And we're here with Lee Steinberg, the real Jerry Maguire. I've spent 40 years negotiating against some of the roughest, toughest multimillionaires and billionaires with the largest egos in the Western Hemisphere. And at this weekend seminar, you will understand how to achieve and get what you want without losing your integrity. Well, and that's what we're all about with Win Win Weekend. And that's obviously why any of you watching this now will be able to see why Lee Steinberg is gonna be there. And, and that's why you can't miss Win Win uh, Weekend. <laughs> that's why you have to be there because your life will be enhanced. And I believe in these two gentlemen and I believe in the concept of Win Win. And did any of you, like me, I decided to become an entrepreneur because I didn't want to work like my father did. I grew up, my father worked all the time. I woke up in the morning, he was already gone. I went to bed and he wasn't home a lot of times growing up. And so I didn't want that. And I decided to start my own business and I thought, hey, this is going to be great. I'm going to make my own hours, I'm going to do my own thing, you know, right? How many of you wanted that? <laughs> right? And then how many of you got into it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is not what I signed up for. I've worked more than my father, but what I, the reason I bring this up is that what the system I'm going to share with you actually changed my life. Because now I've actually designed my business and my brand so that I can actually have it designed into my lifestyle. How many would you want that? Value and John, this is amazing uh, what yeah, you've yeah. given us already today, and what will come at the weekend will be even greater. So we look forward to seeing you at Win Win Weekend. So until we see you at the event, be, be a, a winner. winner. Well, that's fine. I'll go lean back here, and then it'll be that's fine if you're comfortable. Let's hug it. <laughs> <out. laughs> oh <my God. laughs> we're here with Lee Steinberg, and we're hugging. All we need is love. Okay. That's the next video where you'll catch yeah. us in your orange grove. Guys, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's a law of attraction. <laughs>